Hi, welcome to our blog. So, when you think about any insect, any butterfly, any moth, what will be your size come in your mind? So, when we have just started our blogging, when we think about the insect, so we will think about it. Okay, moth, butterfly, okay, this may be a, this much of size. Then, today morning when we have seen one moth in our campus, that was larger than my palm size. And then when you read it, you get to find it. The name of that moth is Atlas. Atlas is the largest moth found in India. And we find that moth in our campus roosting on the one of the uh, tree or a plant, you can say on the plant. This one, you can see uh, this was an Atlas. Their size is up to 24 centimeter and their wingspan is 160 centimeters square. They have a four stages in the life. Egg, larva, pupa and the adult moth. Adult, they are weak and unsteady flyers. They conserve the energy. The moth race during the day and fly at the night. They, they lack of fully formed mouth part. So adult can't eat. They depend only on their fat reserve that accumulated during the larva times. As a result, they live only for a few days during which their solo objective is seeking out a mat. Adult may be found on the wing throughout the year, but most evident you find between the November and the January. Female release the pheromones through the glands on the end of the abdomen to attack the male. They, when they are discard the cocoons, they perch on the the area where there was a maximum air current, so their pheromones can reach up to the uh, very far distance. Male can detect that pheromones from kilometers away with their chemo receptor located on their antenna. The body, when you see the uh, atlas moth, their body are compared to the wings are smaller. Upper side of wings are reddish bound with the pattern of the black, white, pink and purple lines. They have a triangular, scaleless windows bordered in black on each of the four wings. Underside of the wings are paler. Tip of the both the four wings have a prominent extension that resemble the head of the snake. And that's why with that they do the vigorous movements then they find the uh, any predator near to them. When we read about the this particular moth and we find out that okay, this moth has hardly have a life of the two weeks only. The male and female are have a little different morphologically and you can see the surrounding of our area that was in our campus behind you can see the electric uh, supply for the uh, our college and this where we are standing that was a parking area of our campus. So that's all about the atlas.